Hey guys, welcome to Drift Pro rounds three and four at Brands Hatch. So let me first off apologize. You haven't seen much of me recently. There's a lot that's been going on. Uh, obviously just trying to fit in the time for doing the car, getting ready for events, etc., etc., etc. Also, there's been a lot of changes on the outside of the car, as you may have already seen, and also to myself, but we'll come on to that later. So anyway, let's cast, cast the mind back a few weeks. Let's go Jap Fest first off. So we were still in the uh, livery from last year, went there with the guys from Goodridge and uh, Club Racing UK and uh, had an absolute ball of a time there with the uh, tire streets uh, sort of competition that we had going on absolutely great fun as always Silverstone we chucked on the orange tires which were put on a great show like we normally do love that um, but also a little bit of sadness because my box has been going strong for 11 years lost fourth gear uh, when we were trying to do kind of a bit of a gnarly burnout from the get-go to make sure the orange smoke was going on so anyway didn't put me down we uh, carried on ended up doing third to fifth for the rest of the day and uh, had a great time so anyway that's jab fest we then came away uh, i then started to take off the old livery off the car the the lovely orange and purple which we did love but had these boys on board for 2022 which is awesome they're looking after me for tires and all sorts of other bits and pieces as well as merch so yeah new t-shirt new hat new suit uh, so yeah super chuffed about that so uh, yeah old livery had to came off thought that was going to be an easy job but as you can well imagine all the paint started coming off as well so that job went from a few hours into a few days luckily i had simo come up and help me again because all the paint all the lacquer and stuff like that where there's any vinyl came off and it looked like a patchwork quilt so we had to rub that all down get that all painted before taking it to mojo graphics in middlesbrough to have the new livery which i'm happy to say hey yeah, my man is looking smart as yeah we'll get some uh, better pictures and stuff going on there but yeah running uh, for the alloy wheel shop coilovers.co.uk and take you this year so super happy with that uh, so then we went to cadwell uh, kind of a mixed weekend really yeah that was a technical track but we had done it before with demonstrations you probably remember a few years ago when i may have tapped into the side of simo on that final corner through the trees and uh, yeah broke the arm off the car so yeah we were on that section again did two days there um, managed to get through to uh, the great eight both days unfortunately mr bastin who has since today had an engine failure we battled again twice uh, put a good show on against ollie evans but unfortunately overcooked it or i overcooked it i should say sorry into the final bend which threw that one away but yeah learned a lot again and uh, yeah put me i think it was seventh in the championships so that's pretty cool since then it's been a bit of a break so we've now got jason clark's spare tr 6060 box in there thank you so much man for the loan of that because we wouldn't be here today without it we have a new little surprise coming for the lsz in a few more weeks time hopefully it'll be ready in time for alton park but yeah stay tuned for the vlogs and stuff on that one but also we have now finally received the new powerhouse for the ls so we have the new magnum pi supercharger for magnuson so we've got that we've got waiting for a few other little bits and pieces for the front end drive to convert it to the lsa front drive from billy speed shop so that one will be coming soon and then we can hurry up as well and get that fitted and then on the dyno with john lamsey We're going to qualifying now. We're going to see Biz qualify in the top five. First. For top five. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Sorry, I had to because that was that was sick. Okay, so so you wanted me to talk. So hello, hi, hi. So we just saw Biz's first practice, not practice, awesome. qualifying. That was a sick run. Sick. You did some mistakes in a practice, and you nailed your qualifying because you actually fixed both of them. Whoop, whoop. So whoop. So I don't know how, where you qualified because we don't know anything, but we're gonna wait and we're gonna know. And when we know, we're gonna know it's top five. I bet. But you got a second run, so you better do well. So for you guys, we're gonna try and record it. So we're just walking. What's here? Who's this? Very fast entries. 
I mean, this this is gonna be like 110 mile an hour at least. Like, imagine, like on the motorway, that feels quick. Not that <laughs> we do that, we don't do that. And flick it sideways. Yeah, so they actually go 110 and then flick. Okay. And I haven't done it. I hope I can. I think I can. I mean, it's just a matter of speed, isn't it? Yeah. So it should be the should right. be the same. Go hard. Do you know what we know? We know what we not to know. do. Yes, what not true. to do. True. There is true. So, for example, we know we can go on this trail, although we don't know who this is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go on, Biz. Go fast. Go quick. Go quick. Go quick. Go quick. So uh, his quality was impeccable because he done a lot better than practice without even trying I feel because it didn't look like he was trying to mess up um, and it positioned him better so his both entries were great so I feel like I feel like top, I feel like top five is possible but definitely a top ten well obviously so today like I said we're at Brands this is Saturday so round three um, just gone through practice and qualifying managed to qualify fourth so super chuffed with that um, and then had a battle against Mr. Topo over there. So we're now waiting to hear the results for that and see whether we made it into the great eight. So stay tuned. Let's get some more in-car footage and see what's going on. So great news. We got through against Topo, like I said, got Mr. Crookshank. We are now lining up to go and do the great eight battles. Brett is ready in the truck. Adele and the boys have gone up to get watch watch the laps. Yogi is on the other side of the track somewhere running a marathon. So uh, yeah, we're going to go out there. It has been a bit of rain, but I'm happy to say it's already dried up. So hopefully that'll stay out of the way so we can just send it. Looking forward to going up against Hayden. We haven't actually ever battled head to head in competition before. So it's going to be a bit of learning for both of us. But yeah, going to go out, have a good time. And uh, yeah, let's see. Hopefully we can get through to the final. Fingers crossed. Hey guys, so I'm back in after the great eight and uh, yeah, unfortunately that was early shower time for me again, but you know, lead line for me, definitely getting a lot more confident with that now. It's, um, you know, getting more confident in the car at higher speed, starting to learn the line a lot more. So the next sort of improvement for me as a driver and we're going to work on with Yogi is going to be the chase. You know, there's times where like um, the transition today from Hayden in that center section was flawless. And I think that the way he accelerated away from that transition as well, probably made me sort of a bit like rabbit in headlights. And then uh, I made a few mistakes and so on like that. So well done to Hayden for getting through to that next bit. Here comes a fellow gentleman, Hello, Mr. Sir. Cunnington. How are what we back need? In? You are back, back on. back in the game. <laughs> yes, but we need to make sure that we battle again. Definitely. So tomorrow we're going to have it, on right, it mate. Man. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Finals. We'll be in it. We'll be in <laughs> I hope it. so. We'll we'll want to see it. a nice new suit, a couple of new suits yeah. up on the podium up there. But yeah, cracking driving today, man. Thank you. Absolutely mate. awesome. Appreciate it. Boom. See you tomorrow. So uh, yeah, like I was saying, I do need more twinning practice now. Need to have more faith in the guy in front of me, more faith in myself that I can put the car where I need to, up on the side of him and stuff like that. So yep, every day's a school day. I will always tell you that because there is never a time where I feel that I'm ever gonna know everything and I hope no one else can. But uh, yeah, no practice tomorrow. It's gonna be a bit of a later start. So English breakfast for me in the morning at the hotel and then straight into quali and then yeah hopefully we'll be in top five like we were today and then we put on a proper show for all the guys that are going to be at tuna fest so we're expecting about 10,000 people here hopefully the rain will stay away but uh yeah let's see what happens and uh, we'll catch you guys on the sunday
is a sunny Sunday morning at Brands Hatch here for round four of the Drift Pro Championship. Uh, yeah, we're happy it is getting busy already. It's only about just after 11 o'clock. We're going to be on in the next like 40 minutes or so. Um, car is ready to go. People are coming and having a look. Posters are going out already. So, yep. Yeah. Same again. We've got four laps this morning. So two of those will be practice. Two of those will be qualification. Uh, yeah, so straight into it. So we're going to start getting the car warmed up now. And, uh, yeah, hopefully try and send it again. Get in that top five. done sixth place today not quite as good as yesterday but we were trying a few new things managing to get that line around one and two though a little bit better so I'm happy about that now I've got to take some lessons from Mr. Crookshank over there top qualifier today amazing run and how he stopped at the top of the hill that was that is what we need to be aiming for so we need to get more faith in those front brakes push it a bit harder and uh, see how we get on but yeah into the battles got to find out who we're up against we'll do that now and uh, yeah cross the fingers and hope we get back up into the great eight for later on. So that's top 16 done against Mr. Farrar. What an awesome little set of battles there. Jen versus Jen. We uh, definitely put on a good show, smoke show, and it's nice to have to do some driving and have the faith in the man in front. So yeah, thanks Carl for that. Well done, good battle. So now, great eight against the usual arch nemesis of Wonder Kid, Ollie Evans. So yeah, can't wait for this one. It's gonna have to be super fast. I'm gonna have to be right up his backside. He's gonna lead first, so I'm hoping he's gonna teach me a bit about the line. So when it comes to my turn to chase, I can, oh sorry, lead myself. I can then put on a proper one for him to follow as well, and then may the best man win. Here we go. done for Brands Hatch. Unfortunately, Ollie's winning streak on my behalf, I should say, unfortunately for me, Ollie's winning streak against me continues. There's Yogs in the background. Uh, yeah, epic battle, probably one of the best I've ever done in my entire life. Leading in there, I uh, actually pulled one of the screws out of the headlight blanks, going fast as I possibly could, so that's now bent up, but also Ollie's smash. So yeah, I slowed up a little bit more than he would have liked on my lead run in the top corner. So yeah, got rubbed a little bit there. But man, what a couple of sets of battles. They were awesome. I even managed to get my hand out the window a little bit as we crossed over the line, just a bit of extra showmanship. But yeah, super happy with how it is. I am exhausted. It's now time to get the Z back, go through it, get it all prepped up, ready for Alton Park. See if we can get a couple of the little presents we got ready for her on before Alton Park as well, get practicing and come back bigger and stronger next time. See you then. Yeah, yeah, just have a Summary! She's pulling it like a man. Yeah. He's, insane. <laughs> He's the only one who's... Hi! No, don't say that on camera. No. <laughs> He's pulling it like a man. <laughs> He's doing what, Yogi? He's pulling the hydro like a man. 